Alright guys, welcome to another beer review where I'm fucking wipe my nose on camera. Um, yeah, today we've got another triple IPA and I'm a little bit pissed. Um, a little bit emotional. Something happened recently and we've got a few people around. I've been reminiscing and it's got me in the feels and I'm all out of cheap lager. So I thought I would uh, crack open a triple IPA, even though it's 35 minutes or 25 past uh, 12 in the morning. So we've got a can of We See You, We Are You, which is a triple IPA brewed to commemorate International Women's Day. And this is a 10.5% ABV triple IPA brewed with Nelson, Sorvin, Citra and Amarillo. So I'll read you the uh, description on the back. So take the long root skin bathed in electric light. Soft hands ready with metal claws. Melodies for one ear only. Don't forget three rings. This beer is a de <laughs> dedication from all of the women here to all of the women who don't make it home safely. 100% of Cloudwater's profits from this sale of this beer will be split between White Ribbon, Sister Space, and Pankhurst Trust. So links will be in the description. So um, yeah, quite a poignant sort of um, beer, if you will, um, especially with some of the atrocious stuff that's been happening recently. And, um, yeah, so links will be in the description to all those mentioned on this beer. And, uh, yeah, a triple IPA. So we shall see how this beer be. Bear in mind, I am a little bit pissed at this point. And uh, a tiny bit emotional. So you may see tears during this read. No, you won't. But, um, yeah, all I'm going to say is Heart of Gold by Neil Young will be much more poignant than it already was. So beer in a glass then, and uh, that is just an absolute merc bomb. Uh, it's a dirty, sort of turbid looking beer. Uh, could have poured it a little bit better, but what we've got is two fingers worth of a slightly off-white head. There's a little bit of like a particulate there just hanging around on the head, but it looks really nice indeed. 2021, the year of the triple IPAs, of course, using an Overwalks wine glass. Why don't more breweries do this sort of glassware, by the way? It's beautiful. It's an absolutely beautiful glass. But uh, anyway, I digress. Let's give it a sniff. Oh. Oh, that smells absolutely fucking wonderful. Oh, it's got a really sort of like fermented, slightly dank, fruity edge. Pineapple, mango chunks, like tinned fruit that you'd have for ice cream. Oh, that smells absolutely fantastic certainly does <clears throat> and there is a little bit of like a, a grape-esque aroma coming from that nelson sorvin fucking 10.5 percent after i've had a night of a few cloud water double dry hop uh, pale ales and uh cheap lager as you do oh but that smells so good i think this has got nightcap written all over it just from the nose a little bit tropical, loads of citrus, a little bit of dankness. It smells fantastic, so let's give it a taste. Cheers, folks. Oh, that's good. Even though I'm not the biggest fan of the hop, Nelson Sorvin is the star of the show on this. There's this sort of like musky, grape-like 
character builds up on the back end, but not too bitter. That citra hop is singing from the same hymn sheet as well. Oh, that's a nice, dank, sort of savoury triple IPA. That's absolutely phenomenal. It really, really is. No way is that like 10 plus percent ABV. So devastatingly drinkable. Probably not the best beer to drink in the current circumstances, considering it's like approaching one o'clock in the morning and there's still a few low ABV lagers. I mean, about, I've already had like two or three gin and tonics already, so I'm fucking... I'm a little bit pissed, to be honest. I've got no kebab meat left, which is gutting, so I'm going to be absolutely fucking hanging tomorrow. Because I'm a little bit steaming delayed, steaming delayed, fucking steaming delayed. I'm not going to show my penis on camera though, so. Much to the, is it agrin or chagrin to um, a certain demographic of people who watch my beer reviews, but um. That's an absolutely fantastic triple IPA, um, even on its own right. Um, I know there are some dregs of society who will avoid this because it's, oh, it's a native international women's day. It's like, I'll just get a fucking grip, you fucking troglodytes. Seriously, it's just a damn good beer and really drinkable. You get the citrusiness from the citra, you get that slight tropical hip from the Amarillo, and then you get that dry grape-like character from the Nelson Sorvin. And I'm not usually a big fan of Nelson because it's a little bit too dry and I'm getting hiccups, I'm going to get acid reflux, I'm going to cry, and then I'm going to get like four hours of sleep and then I'll wake up tomorrow morning and I'll just wank myself into oblivion uh, in the morning because of morning wood. But um, you didn't need to know that, but uh, I'm going to divulge that information about my personal life anyway. But yeah, this is a, a really nice triple IPA and uh, Cloudwater have just absolutely knocked it out of the park. And uh, that that's the thing. I like the fact, fact, not fact. It's not an FAQ. <laughs> oh, Resident Evil, get all the items and, uh, you know, get an S ranking. Fuck off. But, um, yeah, it's a great beer in its own right. And, of course, with uh, the themes behind it, um, it just makes it that little bit more poignant. So um, I'm going to put the link down below, not only to Cloudwater, from which you should purchase alcoholic beverages from as well as non-alcoholic as well as non-alcoholic beverages because uh, I bought that yuzu and mango soda which was beautiful and the um, that grapefruit soda they've done with um, what are they called? Oh, funny enough, there's a bottle to hand from Square Root. I had that with, um... oh, funny enough, Beef Eater Gin with, uh... yeah, beautiful, beautiful combination, by the way. I love this sort of stuff. You, you never need to drink non-alcoholic beer when there are craft sodas out there because you're getting so much more flavour than a fucking pissy, like, Bex 0, 0.0. It's like, fuck off, you fucking prick. But, um, I'm a, I'm a little bit pissed, so, uh, and it's been a, an emotional night, so, fuck you, you fucking twat. But I, I love you, 
um, immensely. I'm not going to make this all like preachy like women, um, even though I do subscribe to a few people on OnlyFans because, you know, after a whole adolescence of um, leeching off free pornography from the likes of Pornhub and x -Habster, uh it's just nice to, to give a little bit back. Do you know what I mean? But, um, fucking hell, I've probably completely missed the mark with this. But, um, anyway, <laughs> fundamentally, even though I made a fucking nasty sound and I punched a can, this triple IPA from Cloudwater is pretty damn good. Is it going to change the world or blow your mind? No, but it's a nice... As I slightly drunkenly fall over, um, triple IPA and 2021 is the year of triple IPAs, and uh, I'm really fucking hungry. I've already had a kebab this morning, so I don't think I should get a kebab now, even though what kebab house is gonna do deliveries at half 12. But anyway, it doesn't really fucking matter. I'm human scum, I'm a piece of shit, I'm a twat, but um, yeah. Links down below to everyone involved in this beer. And of course, check out Cloud Water. And um, yeah, beautiful stuff indeed. Pick this up as well as a Collective Arts International Women's Day beer. Um, they were both good and they're going to a good cause and they're a great organizations and charities involved in it as much as i'm a troll and a dickhead i fundamentally think that um you should support these organizations because let's face it the world now is completely against women but um anyway i'm not jordan peterson so i'm gonna shut the fuck up i've probably justify the cancellation of the channel just by this review it's awkward it's haphazard but um fundamentally the beer is good you should check it out and if you want to unsubscribe or s dislike or send me a hateful comment just fucking do it anyway cheers guys see you later